I want to show you my process of just very simply getting a video onto YouTube. Now you might laugh because there's maybe like six or seven steps here, but this process allows us to get some text placed on the screen, to generate subtitles, to create a SEO rich description, to create a fun thumbnail. So if you want all those little uh, check marks, all those things in the checklist done, then let's get started. Let's jump into it. And let's talk about this thing called a YouTube video that we're uploading here. So first thing is that I am currently recording on a tool called OBS. It's called obsstudio.com. I'll switch over to my desktop. This is a free tool. I actually like it more than Camtasia. And I will take a screenshot of what, well, maybe I get the URL wrong. So I just took a screenshot of what my, my setup looks like. And so this is a tool here where I can kind of see myself and I can click on the start recording or stop recording button and just basically switch over to a web camera, switch over to a desktop. It's a really fun tool to get a raw video recorded. And my, my second favorite tool for recording a video is Zoom because you can just start a meeting and you can show your camera and you can share your screen. You can have another person on. And then my third favorite tool is just your regular phone. And it, even if you have a simple uh, tripod or something like a $10, $20 tripod, then even that is something that gets the videos recorded for you. So now we have this video recorded. I clicked on the start recording button and OBS places it by default in my videos folder for Windows. And Mac has something like this that's similar, right? Where there's like your, your documents, your downloads, and there's a videos folder. And this is what we just recorded was this 11 minute video that's 300 megabytes. And so let's get this. Let me think of a checklist in my head what needs to be done. We need to generate subtitles for it. We need to come up with some podcast notes uh, and we need to think of a fun clickbait sort of title and then maybe even generate a thumbnail for it so let's start using a tool called descript which is about 30 dollars per month and it is coming up and i'll tell you it's so much more because it transcribes and then it can export in different formats and it helps with the editing and all that sort of stuff. So let's fire up Descript and we'll go back to our projects, go to our private workspace. And then, so I like to name once, here's like the raw files, but I like to rename my videos so I know what the heck I recorded. So this I'll put the date and then I'll say this is called resize audible square cover and then we'll go to our descript and i will say i want to do a new project then i will choose a file to transcribe and we'll go to the videos and we'll go and find our video file and this will add the file it will take it and transcribe it in english it does a very good job because artificial intelligence is just the way things are these days. And then I'll also click on, I think it's still going. If I can click on the studio sounds, so audio effects, studio sounds. And this applies even more artificial intelligence and makes the sound quality of this very good. Then. I want to save a screenshot of this video so that way I can generate a thumbnail while all of this is going. And so the, the easiest way I know of generating a screenshot is I double click and I play my video. And I'm not sure what your computer's video player is, but I like VLC media player on Windows. And I can just click around and sometimes we have the, the desktop and in the beginning, there's just me on the, in the background. 
I'm trying to get to where I'm, there we go, where I'm sort of looking at the camera and smiling. Maybe we need to just generate it, uh, get it, make a new, uh, there we go, close enough, right? Maybe we need to get make a new photo. But anyway, we go to video, take snapshot, and it flashed real quick, but it put it in our pictures folder. And then while all of this is 94% transcribing, then I will open up my web browser to, and oh, I know, I know why OBS Studio didn't, because I think it's OBS Project actually. OBSproject.com is, is the video recorder, so that's that one tool. This other tool is canva.com. I'll click create a design, and then what I want is a YouTube thumbnail, YouTube thumbnail. And then you see that it gives us different sorts of templates here. And so you don't necessarily have to just be stuck with the screenshot you took or the background that you had. You don't even have to have your face on it, but I kind of like how these people did this. So maybe we'll do something like this. And then the way Canva works is that we just take the template that they gave us and then change some things. We change some uh, the, the text and the background. And you know what I'm going to do actually is I am going to, in my OBS, I'm going to take a new snapshot. So I showed you how to save the thumbnail from the video. But what I want to do instead is I will switch over to my podcast uh, thing. And I'll kind of, let's see, let's see how, well, I don't even have to be switched over, but I, mean, I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't need, I need to click the button, but I'll right click in my OBS and there's a, it says screenshot source. So I might, hmm, I might go like, let's see, maybe something fun. Okay. And that saved it to the videos folder right there. Uh-oh. Did that come out? Does anything did not even come out? Shoot. Oh, I know what I need to do. So click on the webcam, screenshot source, and here we go. And so what it took a screenshot of was my, my, my whole office, right? Even the, the green screen uh, behind me, and it came out black for some reason with the garbage can and everything. But that's I like that better than the screenshot we took. So we'll use that instead. And what we'll do, we'll go back to Canva. We'll go to Uploads. Let me switch back to my desktop. So we're in Canva. Whoops. And then on the left here, there's Uploads. So I'll click Uploads, Upload Files and then go to that videos and then upload that way too big uh, screenshot of me, but that's okay. We'll just take the edges out, resize that down, and then to kind of duplicate what's here, we will click edit photo and then BG remover. BG stands for background and that way it'll, it's like how this, there's no background behind me and it will digitally artificially intelligently take the background away from this and then i'm not sure there's no like effects is there? okay so then i maybe if i edit photo there's a way to add like a fun outline but i guess let's not bother with that right okay just yeah i don't care about an outline around me so what i'll do is kind of try to duplicate this somewhat i'll Tilt that and then enlarge that and just kind of reposition. And we don't need to exactly duplicate, but you can see how this design did something fun and right. So we'll just kind of swap in what we have here. And so we'll take that out. And then, so, so now we need to figure out, well, what are we going to title this video? And it's fun to make the thumbnail of the YouTube video kind of more condensed than the title. So like, perfect. Is Dave Ramsey telling you to borrow money and the thumbnail is borrow on the house? Or then there's this really cool guy, Chris Miles. And thought that, yeah, money ripples. 
Come on, Chris Miles. Why are you so hard to find? So on the Chris Miles, here we go. His, he renamed his channel. So when we click on this, you see how he's really, he's really good with the thumbnails and he's like pointing at the, the words or whatever. And so he has the same idea here, right? How, how understanding inflation will make you rich, but then the thumbnail has something that is more condensed. So we'll say this will be create a square cover. Hmm. Need to like rearrange a few things. Create a square cover. for Audible. Okay. Re rearrange that. And that takes care of the thumbnail issue, at least. And so we click on, call this square up thumbnail. We'll click on share, click on download, save it as a JPEG. And then that takes care of one item on the checklist, right? We have that thumbnail for YouTube. That way we have something attention getting and maybe that maybe I could have pointed to it, but that's okay. So now let's switch back to the contents of the video itself. So we said that, so here's the script, they transcribed it. And then the beauty of this is that you can click on a part in the transcript and then jump to that part in the video and even like remove a sentence and it will clip out that part of the video. It's really amazing, really powerful. Now, what are we going to do with this? Well, we want to, first of all, maybe add a couple of headlines or some text and in s different places. So what we'll do is uh, we'll find where we want to, how, let's see, how many little, maybe we want to have like three or four. And so I'll figure out where I want to place these. So we'll say here, square cover so we'll say add a scene and then how long do you want to show that maybe until there add a scene and so you see how there's like the text above and the timeline below with kind of the time codes and so we have 11 minutes and maybe every few minutes i want to have just a, a few, some little uh, text. And so maybe I'll, I'll make one to show you what I'm talking about. So we want to add, we click on text and then title. We want to say square cover. So we'll say square cover and it's white and it's a weird font. So we need to change the fill color to something guess I like the blue and then we need to size it down some so that way it fits so let's try like 100 and then maybe let's think it's maybe bold uppercase I want there we go black black italic there we go and maybe like a white border to make it stand out more okay so we'll say here's a square maybe a little bit larger maybe a little bit wider then center it okay so now here's how this looks is if we play this video oh so it's kind of covering my, oh jeez, oh no, oh no. So we need to maybe reposition, maybe size it down somewhat because I want to kind of reuse this as a, as a template further along the timeline. So we kind of put that text there, square cover. And then where do we want to have more text? Maybe when we switch to Canva, and then we'll click a scene there and we'll continue that until that. 
and then maybe near the end, download PNGs, how we'll edit. And then at the end, I want to have my URL. And then right there, boom. So what's cool about doing it this way is that you can find exactly in the script, in the text where you want your text to start appearing and you add your scene, kind of add your boundaries and then where you can just go right to the start, right to the finish. And we maybe we'll and it right. And it right. Okay. So just by clicking on the slash here, it created a scene. That sounds funny. And then on the list here, is where there are the different scenes that can be jumped to. And then I believe that when you place it on YouTube, the video file has these scenes in there and YouTube knows to kind of artificially intelligently make the chapters that way. Okay, so now that we've made all this, we want to put that text in those different sections. So we click on this show all layers. Oh, there we go, show all layers on the right and then what appeared here is this text layer so we can click on it and control c and then care and you see how the way we made the scenes here still sounds funny was there's the, the little sections and we can easily identify this is one and then this is one too okay so maybe i'll just take myself out for a second i'll put myself back in in a minute so we'll get we'll drop this in here here and here. So we click, control C, click, control V, and then click over here, control V, click over there, control, oh, control V. Okay. And then we just change the text that's on there. And so on this one near the end, we want the text to be dfynarration.com. And widen it somewhat if it fits. Then this one, we say canva.com. And then on this other one, we say download PNG. So that breaks up some of the monotony and makes the video a little more polished and professional. Now it's game time. Now it is time to place this video on YouTube. What do we need? Well, we click on publish then export, and we want to publish three different things. We want to first publish the transcript. So we'll say, we'll add the time codes. This is important. And we'll say paragraph breaks, export that, place that in our downloads. Then we'll, and so the, the transcript is like the, the word for word, all, all these words, right? And then the subtitles are word for word, but every line has a timestamp. So that way YouTube can place the correct exact words underneath the video. So here we'll just say subtitles and export that, export that to our downloads and then video and then, uh, Include markers as include markers as chapters. Very important that we have that. That way YouTube can create the chapters for our video. We click on export, then save the video to our downloads. That will take a few minutes, but not too long. And that gives us time to use chat GPT to generate the well to generate a couple of things. To generate a clickbaity sort of title and also to create the notes for us. So let's start with the title, that's fun. And so if I go over here to my downloads folder, there's this text file I saved, I double click on it and here is this transcript with the timestamps of what I spoke out in this video. And I will go to edit, select all, right click and copy. So I've copied the whole thing to my clipboard and I go to chat GPT and I'll say, list me 10 possible clickbait titles for my, um, for my YouTube video. Here is the transcript of the video. 
and then I'll right click and paste. Turn your Amazon book cover into an Audible masterpiece. Unlock Audible success. Transform your book cover into a square. Audiobook game changer. Okay. So I like how they're nice and short. And I guess we'll just say turn your audio Amazon book cover into a square cover for Audible. How about that? So we'll just say turn into a square cover for Audible. Maybe we'll say like tutorial. I don't know. And then what we want to do is create the SEO richness for it. So we'll say uh, create or uh, based on the transcript for my video generates uh, SEO podcast show notes include a summary time stamps for relevant talking points, key quotes, and any links mentioned. Usually I have a template for that, but this works anyway. And it knows our transcript from earlier in the chat. And here's what it is putting out for us is these different timestamps. And I'm not sure, yeah, eReader Palace link to be provided, DFI narration, Canva, and then I'm not sure if we want the quotes. So the quotes aren't really needed because it was just a tutorial, but the rest of it is good. So now we have the YouTube description and we'll check here and see we have 14 minutes remaining on exporting our YouTube video. So we'll pause the video and come back to this. Okay, video unpaused. It says video export completed. It put it in our downloads folder. And we have to be very careful to make sure that this is the produced one with the cleaned up audio with the, um, with the text on it and not the original. So we could have, let me pause this. Where are we here? So if we go over, see how canva.com so the the annotations are there plus you can see that the subtitles are built into it also but we'll also be giving youtube that subtitle file separately so our video is produced and we have the accompany text and we have the thumbnail as well so let's get to this let's go to youtube.com then say create Upload video, select files, find the produced downloaded video. Okay, now we need to put in that title that we found before. And then we are going to also paste in or clean up a little bit the show notes from chat GPT. Maybe I should have done that while we were uploading. That's okay though. So we'll take all this and we'll just clean up the text somewhat and we'll say, let's create a square cover for Audible using Canva. This is the process. Okay, keeping in mind that this is all keyword ranking, right? That all these things like Audible and Canva and Square Cover, these are all things that we want to uh, have the search engines notice. So I do want to clean this up a little bit. I'm sure chat GPT could help us clear this up. I just kind of want to want this to make a little more sense. Just in the sign. I'm not sure how I would explain to Chat GPT how I want this reformatted in this way. And then another thing is I just kind of want to have the timestamps be really simple. Okay. 
And we said we don't need the key quotes. And then we'll probably put the resources at the front. So relevant links, so canva.com. And we'll say graphic editing tool done for you audiobook narration service narration.com and then we want to grab that link from the high res cover so I'll put that we'll say get high resolution cover image okay and now we have the Amazon description. So by now the video should be uploaded. So we'll paste all that text into here, all that SEO goodness. And then we need to choose our thumbnail. So click upload thumbnail. And then in our downloads, there's a square cover thumbnail as well. So cool, that looks nice and professional. Then the tricky thing with YouTube is that they word this weird and it's like, is this made for kids? Well, it's yes, it's kid friendly, but it's not like specifically for the kids section of YouTube. So not made for kids. And then automatic chapters. And then the next page is when we add the subtitles. So we click next, click on subtitles, click on add, upload file with timing. And then we upload very carefully the srt file now youtube does generate subtitles but at least in my case it doesn't always do it or it's not always very good and with this descript if you wanted to be a control freak you could go and edit the transcript make it all perfect but i just give it what descript uh, generates click on done then click on next then we'll make this public we published it and I believe that it is now live. It is processed in low quality, in SD, in standard definition, but then in 50 minutes, the HD version will be up and running. Oh, well. Well, uh, maybe. Well, it'll be on and off, but guaranteed in the next few minutes, there'll be something that will play on this. And in the meantime, we can work on some other promotion for this. For example, you could go back to chat GPT and say, generate some text for me to, to post the link to this video in a LinkedIn post. Cool, give me all that. Looks good to me. And then I'll say generate a 100 word promotional email, including three possible subject lines. If I can blast to my email list and link to this YouTube video. New tutorial alert turn your book cover into an audible masterpiece. Okay, so there you go. And we just insert the video link where we want to. And I guess one last. And so I, I do, I have a different promo email to send to my list today. So I'm not going to be pasting this exactly. But one thing I want to do before signing off is to create a, I guess we have a YouTube thumbnail, but I want to make a thumbnail for the email sending. So what we'll do is we'll go to this YouTube thumbnail we created and click on this duplicate page button to create this right there. And then what we can do is go to elements and search for play button. And then, all right, we'll do that one. We'll make it big and honking and right over the image so you can see some things behind it. And it just looks like a, like a play button. Isn't that fun? And what we can do is go share and then download and make this a JPEG and make this as small as it'll let us do. And then for the pages, say I just want to download that thing with the play button and click on download. And then 
let me go and send an, a quick email blast or I'll, I'll do everything but hit send. That way we have a complete tutorial, even though I don't really feel like hitting send right now. So I'll go and I'll send an email to my people here and I'll click on email and then I'll say, let's see, what did Chet GPT give us? new tutorial alert and then paste in the email content okay and we'll format that and then it says hey name and we will drop in the first name then watch the video tutorial here and then we'll just find Where's that URL? Here it is right there. Is it live yet? Here we go. It already plays. So we'll say watch tutorial here. Make that a link. And then watch the tutorial now. Make that a link. And then we'll upload an image. Select image. Upload image, browse computer, and then we'll upload this fun one with the play button. And we make the width 400, that way it fits on a phone. Click on that, make that a link to the YouTube video as well. And then maybe we'll make the font larger. And then ready to take your audiobook journey. And boom, there you go. So I have everything ready except for clicking send now, but I have a different email to send. So I've, I've teed it up in every which way. And I guess one final thing is I'll post it to LinkedIn as well. So I'll go and start a post. And what do I want to talk about is I will put in that link to YouTube generates the preview. And then we go and find the man that re that really is hyping it up, right? <laughs> All right. So and there we go. So then we'll post that to LinkedIn as well. So we posted to LinkedIn. We sent a broadcast email to our list. It has a subtitle, it has annotations, it has a thumbnail, it has cleanup audio, and that's a tutorial that we recorded in OBS and then ran through the script and then used Canva to create a graphic for it. So that's a little bit about the, uh, not podcast, but YouTube production process. You could do more stuff, you could do less stuff, but that's the, those are the steps that I go through, including the thumbnail and the transcript and the subtitles and the podcast notes and the chat GPT. So I hope this checklist was helpful and gives you a couple of ideas on how you can up your game, raise your game when it comes to your YouTube videos. Talk to you soon. See you later. Bye for now.